there we go. And the final book review is today's speaker, uh, Michael Schratt. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm a visual guy. So um, this book is just, I mean, it hits the spot. Um, just briefly what it says here, a fully illustrated book details 20 historical UFO cases, which were uh, secured from multiple research centers around the United States and have been had never been seen before. In addition, the publication also highlights multiple UFO encounters, many of uh, with beings reported. A few cases covered in this book, the mystery airship wave of night, and then it goes on and I talks about, I, I gotta tell you, knowing the stories and then seeing the illustrations that that Michael has put together, it's just, it's just amazing. And um, I've got I've got one special note on this. His book is only it's not in hard copy; it's in Kindle. But if you don't have a Kindle reader, which I don't have, you can go on Amazon and for free, you can download a uh, like a Kindle converter and and read the book on your uh, laptop. That's what I did. I was able to. I got that, then I ordered the book, and, and I read the book on my PC. You didn't have to have a Kindle. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Uh, and that's my book reviews for, for this month. Okay, this is why, this is why you people showed up. You didn't, you didn't show up to hear from me talk about books and, and cases and stuff. Well, you might have wanted to talk about cases. but Today's headliner, Michael Schratt, is a private pilot, uh, an aviation historian investigated UFO encounters for over 25 years. Between 2008 and 2009, Michael meticulously reviewed a minimum of 50,000 cases in an effort to maintain an important part of our national history. Recreated dozens of highly credible UFO cases by using drawings, illustrations, and commissioned artwork. Many of these include USO, unidentified submerged objects, actual extraterrestrial encounters, and prehistory UFO cases. He has appeared on multiple media platforms to include the following Coast to Coast AM, History Channel, Paranormal Matrix, UFO Hunters, Fade to Black. Guest speaker at multiple UFO conferences, including the following uh, Phoenix MUFON, Orange County MUFON, International UFO Congress, MUFON Symposium, and UFO Con. And with that, Michael, it's all yours. Uh Stigler, Oklahoma, 1961. Uh, two witnesses were driving down the road. All of a sudden, they saw a dish-shaped craft hover over their vehicle. It shined this light down to the center and then lifted the car 18 inches off the road. So it's a CE2 case. And the primary eyewitness said that the speedometer on the vehicle was going 120 miles an hour, but they were standing still. <laughs> this is back in 1961. Here's the original report that described the case in detail. Uh, we'll go over some of the classifications. So this is Jalen Hynek's close encounter classification. So close encounter of the first kind is a visual sighting, lights in the sky. Close encounter of the second kind, physical effects, landing traces, marks, broken branches, car engine stalling. Close encounter of the third kind is an interaction with entities. And according to Stephen Beale, Spielberg, that's when we meet him. So that's the third kind of close encounter. 